Welcome back, pop smokers, to the sixth episode of the Peace Pipe. My latest video made a huge impact, at least for my tiny channel. It seems that a lot of people have waited for a video like that. I would like to say thank you to everyone who watched it, who liked it, who commented on it, most of all commented on it, because this proves that the message of the video is true. No, you are not alone. And yes, there is still hope. There are like-minded people. There are people who witnessed the situation in the same way. I did, you did. So thank you for that. Also a thank you to St. David Pipes. He did two shoutouts in a row for my channel. Thank you. Also a cheers to Trucking Piper Bob always mentions me, who reached out to me. Thank you for that. Also, a cheers to Jamie, smoking in my car, who did a VR to a older video of mine, and his VR was much better than the original video done by myself. He's a really literate guy, he can put things to word in a way I never could do it. And most of all, Big thank you to Greg from the Tunnel Take, who helped a lot to promote the latest video. It seems he was really impressed by it. He called it spectacular, and that really means a lot to me. You know, I'm a simple guy living a simple life, hardly ever achieved anything someone would call spectacular. So it really means a lot to me. Although I just told what I saw and what I have witnessed. But it seems it had to be said. So now for today's video. Today's video is called What is it with the YTPC? And I mean what makes it so special, what makes it so unique? And I think we can agree on that. That this is a special, special community. You know, I don't know about the deep sea divers of YouTube or the table tennis players, or whatever. Maybe it is not so uncommon, but I doubt it. So first of all, we all come from different places, different countries, even different continents, different ethnic backgrounds, different social backgrounds, yet we all come, we all come together, we get along very well, we hardly ever read a bad word in the comments. People watch the videos, People think about it and things that get discussed in a very gentlemanly way and this is something that is not very common these days. The only thing we have in common is we are mostly male, there are hardly any females, so it seems pipe smoking isn't for today's woman. What I also noticed is that the videos that do get the most views are those that are not hype related at all. People talking about this, that, someone is showing his garden, someone is showing pictures from his holidays, whatever. Someone is talking about religion and faith and people who watch it. And the difference is people do watch the whole videos. You read in the comments that people really make up their minds about the topic, really think about what they are telling. And these in times of TikTok and such. It also seems that many people here have rather conservative worldviews. And on the other hand, we have many, many non-conformists in our community. Do you agree? There seems to be contradictions at first. But maybe being conservative these days has to mean you're a non-conformist. And I think pipe smoking in itself is a non-conformist act. You know, we take the time to smoke our pipes. In our society, taking the time for something is a rare occurrence. You're expected to be always running, to be always busy, always checking out emails, these that while you're not working. 
we say no, we take our time to enjoy a pipe and don't smoke a cigarette in between. Also, we claim our own corner, our own niche, our own room, a room for yourself, where you lock out the outside world for a short period of time, which gives you the space to think for yourself, to reflect on things, and this is something modern society does not want us to do. And this makes a difference. You also see people broaden their perspective and most of all people get creative. You all know the giveaway challenges, challenges where people think about all the responses, very creative. And it seems modern society doesn't want creative people, they want consumers. They don't want people who create something, create something of their own. This is highly remarkable. Also, young and old, you see people that pensioners is it called that way in England? I in English, sorry. Who never had much to do with the internet, with cameras, smartphones, and they make up their minds and start recording themselves, talking about the life experiences. They do get creative, they do create something, they put something out in this world. It's also very interesting for younger members of the YTPC to watch this. There's a lot to learn. You see things from another perspective. And that's what really is the difference in our community and others. We are also people who do seem to value the smaller things. You know, for others, this is just a piece of wood and plastic. We do value the small things. We do see the beauty in it. We do value things more than others. So I hope I got my point through. I hope you could follow my words. And as usual, I really appreciate your opinions on this. And the, the answers to my questions, the comment section is always wonderful to read. As I said before, people really make up their minds and think of it before they answer. Yeah, excellent. Thanks for watching. I still have many ideas of things I could talk about, pipe related, non-pipe related. So, again, thank you all. We'll see you next time. Cheers.